Campbell in black, NC State in white. Our officials this afternoon, Bill Covington, Ramey Steins, and Justin Porterfield as we are underway in PNC Arena in Campbell's first loss of the season. But it goes down. A great start for the fighting camels on the road. Was block number 100, fastest ACC player to 100 career blocks in more than 20 years. And on the other end, Jericho Hellams opens the scoring for the Wolfpack. And so impressed by the work that he has put in. And I'm not surprised by the block shot number. I think the big surprise for them, though, has been the improved offensive numbers for Manny Bates. His senior year at high school, then redshirted for the Wolfpack. Pack in his first year in Raleigh. She gets the feed inside, splits a double team. Did he beat the shot clock, Manny Bates? That is the question. Ricky Clemens on the drive, floats one over the reaching hand of Manny Bates, and it drops home. Watch the backdoor cuts of Campbell, and then their spacing on offense. Again, Clean look, 4% from the floor, so a very efficient offensive team, and I think the key number for them early on, Jay, they've been good on the defensive class. Starter played 34 minutes or more, handled this Campbell team today. Jesus Carolero darts it to the lane, puts it up and in. It certainly seems like there's going to be some fatigue legs. Count it, plus the foul, a great feed inside. The Fighting Camels are four for their last four. Trying to make it five for five here, denied by Manny Bates. This is Jordan Whitfield on the drive. Feeds it off for an easy two. Josh Lusain cashes in and puts Campbell back up by two. Feel more, everything but the finish there. And nobody there to protect the rim with Manny Bates out of the game. Gidimus Moksekis cashes in. Eight turnovers, only five made baskets. And that is not a winning combination. And Campbell continues to capitalize. Braxton Beverly, tough take for two. Lusain tries a three and he hits it. Josh Lusain, the sophomore. How does NC State cut into this lead, Malcolm? Well, they need more that's of that. One way. Yeah, they need more of that right there, patience. Devin Daniels ripped that one away, takes it right to the rim, but he missed it. Well, this has been the story of the first half right here. Again, looks like they're going to have a wide open. Dirk Henderson Jr. couldn't slam it home. Back the other way, miss on the other end. Daniels there for the offensive rebound. And finally, he puts it off the window and in. Stops on defense and then get out and transition and crash the offensive glass. And one, Jordan Whitfield, the Raleigh native. Ellum's left open, and he hits it. McCullough in the corner. He hits the three. And McCullough, the senior, buries the triple. That's a huge one. Looked like Campbell was stalling a little bit offensively. Straight to the rack in attack mode, Devin Daniels ties it at 28. Pack looking for their first lead since it was 9-8. to eight. Beverly off the rim, how about that for an assist? Here's Thomas Allen blocked from behind. Thomas Allen. Leaves that three short. Bates there for the follow, put in for two. An impact start the second half. Let's see if they get him a touch in the paint. He sets the pick. Count it plus the foul. Hey. 
Inside to Josh Lucey. That's an easy flush for the sophomore. Great pass from Hallams. Unlocks Allen, who drains the three. Thomas Allen. Much needed three. Beautiful ball movement by NC State. Let's go! And cashing in with some great defense. Cues in Buffalo. And then UCF against Florida State. The nightcap with the huddle at 8 p.m. Recapping the ACC football championships. He lost it again. That's a 12th turnover. Campbell trying to capitalize. And they do. Count it plus the foul. He grew up in Rollsville, North Carolina. 18 miles away from North Carolina State. So a bit of a homecoming for Ricky Clemens. Settle for jumpers. Right inside, Manny Bates rocks the rim. That's a missed opportunity. Bates is open. Three on two, Daniels straight to the rack. Devin Daniels at NC State has a 10 point lead. Made seven of their last eight baskets as they've really picked it up on the offensive end. Jericho Hellams, the big reason why, right on cue, knocks down that jumper. Hellams looks inside, finds Shaquille Moore for the easy layup. Great effort inside. Jericho Hellams will not be denied. Nice triple for Shaquille Moore. The freshman nails his second of the afternoon. Giving up a lot of size, was still able to come up with the defensive board. And here's Beverly for three. He's got it. Braxton Beverly getting it done on both ends. Manny Bates back into the game with four fouls. Campbell only has eight points, make it ten in this second half. Bates playing with four fouls, has to be careful, kind of leans off, and Henderson Jr. can capitalize. People would think that they get into the tournament this year, and yet you talk to Joe Lenardi, and he says, nope, they'll probably be right around the bubble again like they've been the last three years. There are so many uh, things that are going to be going on. Teams playing without key players, obviously games uh, missed because of cancellation, so... Uh, arguably one of their better players, uh, DJ Fun Funderbank yes, is yes, a guy that flirted with playing in the NBA. Dish inside to Furrar to cap it off. We saw a lot of that in the first half for Campbell. I think a little bit too much pressure in the second half.